Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. Our focus this morning has been on positive things for your child or children to get involved in once their school year ends and summer begins. The Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Milwaukee does an outstanding job of meeting kids and teens where they are and helping them take steps forward to reach their potential by focusing on safety, academic support, and character development. And my next guest is Tamara Key. She is the Senior Area Director for several areas Area branches of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Milwaukee. Hello, Tamara. Hi, Andrea. How, How you are doing? You? I am good. How are you? I'm well. Good to have you back here. And the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee has been around since like 1887. So a rich <laughs> history indeed. And today uh, it's one of the largest Boys and Girls Clubs organizations in the country. We've got 44 locations throughout the city of Milwaukee. And if you would tell us more about what it is you do as the senior area director. Mm -hmm. So um, I oversee eight different clubs. Mm -hmm. Six of them are community learning centers, and then eight, two of them are our legacy sites. Okay. Um, and so they're not attached to a school. Um, some of the focuses that I have is on staff development, making sure that everything that we're offering in the club is building, is of quality, building each individual child. Mm -hmm. um, we, I focus on coaching of the club managers, um, and they're also focusing on the coaching of their, their staff within the building. Um, I am always looking at what it is that they need at each individual site uh, because each site is unique um, depending on the area that they are in. So whatever it is that they're needing, um, I'm making sure that I am rallying around everything that they need to build a positive experience for each individual in the building. Okay, and you mm -hmm. did mention the community learning centers that yes. you oversee. And so that is a partnership with MPS. Yes. So what exactly are you offering at those centers? So we will, um, during the summer, some amazing things are going to be happening mm -hmm. at the center. Um, there will be, over the summer, we'll have about 30 plus sites open okay. for summer programming. The community learning centers are a part of that. So there'll be several opportunities for young people in different communities throughout Milwaukee to have access to a summer program that opens as early as 7 a.m. and closes as late as 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, several field trips for young people to explore Milwaukee in a fresh and new way, um, and even past Milwaukee. So there'll, there'll be um, the op, the the community learning centers have lots of opportunities just like the legacy sites mm -hmm. um, so there's there's several opportunities for young people to get involved in the in the summer for around academics um, around exploration of things that they enjoy mm -hmm. um, so those are just a few yeah a just few a things. few <laughs> And, you know, I think it's important to have you here today because, mm -hmm. uh, like I said, school's going to be getting out soon, and parents like to know that their kids are in a safe environment and that they're not getting into the wrong things. So this has given them a head start on some of the options that they have uh, because we've all heard of the Boys and Girls Clubs growing up, but sometimes we have a tendency to forget about all the exciting things that you have going on. It's not just shooting around a basketball are sitting around, uh, you know, um, you know, playing jacks. <laughs> There's a lot of educational things in place as well as sports and uh, field trips, all of those things. So uh, you guys serve about 5,000 plus youth across the board. And if you would fill us in on some of the special programs and services that you've put together specifically for the summer months. So we have, uh, we serve young people from K-4 Mm -hmm. through um, high school, uh, 12th grade. And so there's individualized learning opportunities for each of those age groups. So mm -hmm. we, we uh, focus on academics through the summer to impact that sur summer learning loss mm -hmm. so that we're making sure that our young people are going back right. fresh um, and hopefully um, operating at a new and fresh level for the new grade, grade, new grade level for that year. Right. Um, we also make sure that they experience new opportunities like um, horseback riding, um, oh. learning to swim over the summer. Um, there's lots of different sports activities. We mm -hmm. have a um, EB EABL program where young people get to learn to play soccer, baseball, football, um, 
basketball, and it just goes on and on, the different um, types of, of sports that you don't necessarily um, have access to all the time mm -hmm. will be present during the summer. Um, there will be um, opportunities for free driver's education program for our teens. Our teens get the opportunity to have a work experience over the summer. So we are really providing opportunities for our, our young people to stay busy mm -hmm. um, and to uh, learn more things about themselves throughout the summer. And so when they get back to school, they have awesome things to talk about because the summer was amazing for them. Yeah, yeah. and I'm sitting here uh, laughing at myself <laughs> because I said, oh, they're not just sitting around playing jacks. I don't even think kids play jacks anymore. <laughs> I just gave away my age, but. <laughs> I did have a memory. I was like, jacks. <laughs> kids would be like, what's that? Maybe I should teach them how to play that jacks. Would that would be awesome. Cool. Yes, yes, but um, I know there are a lot Lot of parents that are home laughing about that too but um, <laughs> they also need to know how would they get their child uh, engaged what do they need to do for a membership to the Boys and Girls Club you can go on our website to look and see which site is closest to you mm -hmm. um, or sites that you may be interested in um, and then you can go to that location. Uh, there is someone on site um, right now, um, any, anywhere from the time of 11 to 8 p.m. Okay. at our legacy sites. At our, our school sites, there's someone available from 10 to 6. You go in, fill out an application, and get your young person signed up for summer. Okay. Um, if there are questions, you can always call any of the locations for specific information around um, the our camp program because there's an opportunity to go to camp, overnight camp, wow. and there's discounts for that camp if you are a Boys and Girls Club member. Okay. So. It, it's, it's really, really easy. We, we um, have all of the sites listed and just go on, um, take a peek and see where you would like your young person to go. Yeah, and the membership fees are very small, right? The, the membership fees are very small. So our drop-in fee stays the same. It's mm -hmm. $5 a year and nothing changes $5 with that. a year. $5 That's amazing. A year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now our summer program does have a different fee structure, okay. um, but there is no family turned away. So if they, they are, uh, they want their young person in Involved in summer programming to communicate with that club manager if there's any challenges we will work with every family yeah and the boys and girls clubs uh, they remind me kind of like public libraries in the sense uh -huh. that there is one in every neighborhood yes. so to speak mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in the Sherman Park neighborhood you've got the Mary Ryan boys and girls club and they just celebrated a grand reopening a mm -hmm. lot of really cool things have been added to that particular branch tell mm -hmm. us more about that so I am so excited about Mary Ryan Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> there's a fresh new look in the building. Um, there's also programming offered all the time. There's lots of partners from the community mm -hmm. that are showing up for our young people in that community. Um, there's uh, from Pep Nation doing um, Saturday programming um, in the building as well. Uh, there's going to be this new fresh launch uh, of our teen center okay. inside of Mary Ryan Boys and Girls Club and lots of partnerships coming in to help support um, our teens yes. and for in regards to employment, um, driver's education. Um, we want to make sure that young people are busy mm -hmm. um, and um, there um, there's just a plethora <laughs> of things. A plethora. I can't even expect you to remember it all. I mean, you did, so <laughs> you did great. You did great. You really like, did. And, and yes. I want to make sure I don't leave anything out because yeah. the, the, the impact is so amazing. And they can always go mm -hmm. to the website to look up anything that you guys have to offer. Uh, and research actually shows that young people who get engaged in sports, that is one of the key things that will keep both girls and boys out of trouble, so to speak. And you've mentioned all the different sports that uh, kids are able to get involved with, uh, soccer, basketball, football? Yes. Yes, that mm -hmm. too. <laughs> Baseball, Baseball, yeah. <laughs> uh, the list goes on and on. So um, when the kids are playing sports, are there any, t is there paperwork that needs to be signed by the parent or do the kids just kind of 
come to the center and get involved. So because there's so so many new and fresh opportunities happening all mm -hmm. the time, we always make sure that we inform parents of any, any new opportunities okay. and there's additional paperwork that may go along with okay. that. Okay, makes a lot of sense. You talked about the career developing programming that uh, specifically for the teenagers where you have the driver's ed and all those things, but uh, you teach the kids how they can apply for a job. Uh, also, uh, they get industry exposure and skills training. And then for young people who are between the ages of 14 and 18, you guys also uh, provide them with opportunities for internships, right? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. all good stuff. And the website where people can get more information about that and all the other things you offer? www.boysandgirlsclubs.org. Okay, easy yes. to remember. Mm -hmm. And we got to talk about a couple of these big events that the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Milwaukee has going on. And uh, you and uh, Kendra, what? Lakita. Lakita. <laughs> Gosh, forgive me, Lakita. Uh -huh. You guys uh, came on uh, a couple of years back uh -huh. and you talked about this uh, initiative, Can You Hear Us Now? Mm -hmm. And it was so successful from a couple of years back that you are still doing it today, mm -hmm. right? So uh, there is uh, an event happening on Saturday, June 3rd? Yes. Okay. Yes. And if you would uh, kind of fill us in on Can You Hear Us Now? What's that about? So Can You Hear Us Now is really focused focusing on the young people in different communities and really giving them the opportunity to have a voice mm -hmm. about what's happening with them, about what it is that they need. They get an opportunity to create this platform to express themselves. So can you hear us now? The Each year it looks different mm -hmm. um, because the young people are different that come together to um, provide information about um, what's new and what's fresh about them and the needs that they, they okay. need. Um, and so this will be a new, fresh opportunity to provide that voice for young people that I'm always excited about um, because it's always new and there's always something new that I learn about young people and yeah. I am so excited about June 3rd and always look forward to that day. That's pretty amazing. It's from 5 to 7.30 p.m. at the mm -hmm. Milwaukee Rep, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, And uh, general admission's free and then you have VI seating for ten dollars mm -hmm. so uh, that's something that people can enjoy and then of course Summerfest is coming up on its 50th anniversary and everybody is excited about that but the Boys and Girls Clubs uh, you always team up with Summerfest for their Rock and Soul Run yes. which is happening June 10th right mm -hmm. okay so that is exciting and as we wrap up just wanted to quickly uh, let all the kids know that they do have an opportunity to compete for Youth of the Year yes. uh, through the Boys and Girls Clubs of yes. Greater Milwaukee, right? Yes. And that is uh, where young people uh, do well in school and uh, probably are standouts at the clubs as well. And uh, they're nominated and then go on to compete statewide? They are nominated uh, by their peers, um, the adults within their club, and then they're, they uh, compete um, with other youth of the year from mm -hmm. each Boys and Girls Club that offer team programming, and then they go off to compete uh, for a state youth of the year, and then it, it goes on and on from there um, to provide an experience for them. They have opportunities for scholarships for school, um, so it's an amazing experience for a young yes, person. Yes, inspiring mm -hmm. and motivating yes. every chance you guys mm -hmm. get. So thank you for coming by and please continue all the outstanding work. Absolutely, it's thank you. It's always a pleasure, yes. <laughs> Tamara Key is a Senior Area Director for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Milwaukee. For more information on all they have to offer, you can visit their website again at boysgirlsclubs.org or call 414-267-8100. That's gonna do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. As always, thank you for watching. And I hope you join us again next week as we take another look at Our Issues Milwaukee. Have a great day.